This video looks at how to set up and use the pendulum testing machine to test samples in a laboratory environment and highlights the key factors that affect the reliability of the results. It's been designed to complement the written guidelines which are an essential reference and is not intended to be a substitute for training. We'll be looking at testing using Slider 96 rubber which is designed to measure slip potential for shod pedestrians. We've used the Munro Stanley machine, but we could equally have used the KSS or Wessex testers. Whichever machine you use, it should be calibrated annually. First, we assemble the tester, ensuring the back foot and the pendulum arm are securely fixed. The feet should be adjusted so that the pendulum frame is set as low to the floor as possible. The pendulum is then carefully levelled, taking care to avoid parallax error by looking down on the level from directly above. When you're sure it's level, the locking nuts on the feet need to be tightened. The zero must be checked and adjusted each time the pendulum is set up. With the arm raised so that it won't catch the surface, the arm is released as if taking a measurement and the finishing position of the needle is noted. Precise adjustments can be made using the friction ring which is then locked in position by the outer ring. The zero is rechecked and the process repeated until a consistent zero reading is obtained. The slider 96 used here has been turned over to present a new edge which now needs to be prepared. Note that the spring is compressed without putting any force on the arm while the washer and retaining pin are replaced. The re-preparation of a worn slider 96 is described in the guidelines in section 4.1. With the glass plate in position, the P400 paper is secured in place and the contact area, commonly referred to as the footprint, is set. The footprint is measured with the footprint ruler. The marks on the ruler are lined up with the trailing edge of the aluminium backing plate. This is an iterative process. It relies on repetition with fine adjustments each time until the ideal position is found. Here, the means of adjustment is accessed via an opening in the scale plate but the exact method of pendulum adjustment varies across the three machines. Carry out 10 swings across the P400 paper, followed by resetting the footprint and 10 further swings. We're not interested in the readings obtained at this stage. The next step is to use the pink lapping film to give a final preparation of the working edge. The process is the same as for the P400 paper, but all 20 swings should be with the paper wetted and there is no need to reset the footprint part way through. We now move from preparation to verification. Using a fresh area of pink lapping film, set the footprint and measure the pendulum test value or PTV in wet conditions. Make a record of the readings. Follow the same testing sequence on the glass plate and then the pavigres tile, recording all the numbers. Check your readings for each of the test materials against the verification PTV's table number 3 in the guidelines document. You're now ready to test the flooring material, in this case a polished stone tile. Begin by setting the footprint on the surface of the sample. The test procedure in the guidelines dictates that the first measurements are taken in dry conditions. 
A test consists of eight swings. The first three are noted but not included in the calculation of the median. The procedure requires tests to be carried out in three different directions on the dry surface. This is normally at 90 degrees and 45 degrees to the original direction. The surface is then wetted and tests are carried out in the same three directions. For further information, you can contact the UK Slip Resistance Group at www.ukslipresistance.org.uk. This is one of four videos that cover the use of pendulum testers with different sliders in the laboratory and on site. Please remember that these videos should be used in conjunction with the written guidelines and are not a substitute for training.